It's been more than a week since the moratorium ended here in Illinois, and a lot of questions are up in the air for renters and homeowners. Today's Your Dime sponsor, Osling and Abbott Bankruptcy Law Firm. We have Eric Osling, an attorney, joining us now. All right, so October 3rd, the hammer came down. The hammer came <laughs> down, and a lot of people, a lot of your viewers out there are probably very unaware of a lot of things that are about to happen. Okay, well, let's kind of refresh what did happen before we talk about what's happening. All right. Well, uh, when COVID first started, our good governor uh, put a moratorium on everything from evictions to collections to foreclosures. So people didn't have to pay a lot of money and didn't have to worry about being sued. Now, when, when they put that moratorium on and in effect, does that mean you're free and clear for, for the time being, or are you gonna have to pay back all of those months, uh, 18 months of rent that that's, they, that that's they were That's what due. a lot of people thought they were free and clear. That was not what was happening. Ugh, they, so they wake owed, up call. They owe the money. I just had a, a recent very smart person that went into shock because we were talking about foreclosure. And they said, well, fortunately, my bank hasn't attempted to, to collect. We uh, skipped our payments, and now we can just start picking it up, and they'll put it on the mortgage. And I said, don't not like necessarily that. true. Now, you're, if you don't have that worked out with your bank, uh, next month you're going to get a bill in the mail for their payment was just short of $1,500. I said, you're going to get a bill in the payment for about twenty-two dollars to $23,000 that is due wow. the next month. So are you saying that they can work out a deal with their bank to, to negotiate that, or is that where you come <laughs> in all, as an attorney? Well, you may be able to work it out. There's a, a just a host of things you can do to, to work with, uh, you know, stopping a foreclosure. You may work it out with the bank. You may just give the property back. It was called a deed in lieu of foreclosure. You may turn around and do a short sale where you sell it and sell it at a loss and the bank approves mm -hmm. it. You may stall the foreclosure. You can file a Chapter 13 bankruptcy where you repay all your arrearages over a five-year period. So there's, there's options. There's, there's about 15, literally about 15 to 20. Okay, that, that was all pertaining to homeowners. What about when it comes to renters? Is that A lot different? tougher situation. Yeah, because they're uh, probably First thing kicked I out. would say to every renter is get on the web, Illinois website and check out renter assistance because it's probably your only prayer of not being thrown out on the street. Oh, man. And the problem is, as you may or may not know, there is a huge, and I mean huge, housing shortage and apartment shortage in Illinois. Well, yeah. So if you get tossed out, guess what? You, you, you're you going to have it's a terrible time. Yeah, and no. I, I think we're going to see literally people homeless on the street. I, I think we'll start seeing that as a big well, problem. Well, and we don't want to be seeing no. that. That uh, Some of your notes here that I was reading over, 414,000 Illinois household are in housing problems now. That's alarming. 60,000 Illinois um, households are vulnerable to eviction. Also that's, alarming. That's 60,000, by the way. They're predicting more. They're all going to be affected between now and Christmas. <gasps> Oh, perfect timing, right around the holidays. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to you, yeah. right? Well, you well, can't buy anything because, because of the <laughs> well, shipping yeah, crisis. So, so, yeah. We're finding the joy, Eric. Yeah, I love that about you. Okay, gotta, so if people are interested in learning more, off camera earlier, we were also mentioning about money being actually taken out of people's paychecks unknowingly, and that's it, going that's, towards that's the... A, that's kind of a third area. So you got foreclosure, you got eviction in the third area. As a lot of people uh, were being sued for various things, credit cards, rent, whatever, and the lawsuit got put on hold because of the COVID. Um, and collectors w went uh, on a voluntary basis to their credit uh, and said, okay, we're going to slow down and, and not do collections while this COVID is going on. When they lifted on October 3rd, when Governor Pritzker lifted the, the moratorium, uh, all of a sudden clients are opening up their paycheck and there's 15% of their paycheck missing. And that's 15% of the gross, not the net, which is bigger than 15% oh. of the net. So. Well, what a mess, right? So. Uh, it's, 
it's starting to really, we're starting to really notice the calls coming in very, very fast. Well, and that's where I was going to direct people if they have questions. Maybe they're in one of these predicaments um, since the moratorium was lifted. Eric Osling here, attorney. Um, Osling and Abbott, there's a look at their Facebook page where you can connect with them and learn more. But I feel like we've really even scratched the surface here. Like I, like I said, <laughs> when I first sat down, I could cover an hour on this. Oh, it's, it's, well. just, it's just very, there's just a lot to it. And unfortunately, there's a lot of people that don't really understand yeah. the consequences of what's going to happen. And that's why we go to the experts like you. So we appreciate you being here. We'll connect everybody at CILiving.tv.